AT Mega 328. SPI coding. This is an example of a SPI program. These are the I.O. pins on the AT Mega 328 associated with the SPI interface. The data direction register needs to be configured properly. These are the data direction of each of the SPI I.O. pins. Therefore, data direction register B should be set with these bits. This instruction performs this task. Perform an AND operation of DDRB with C3. This is the result. And then perform an OR operation with 2C. DDRB is properly set up. Set up the SPI control register. SPI is enabled and is set to the master mode. Enable the slave device by clearing the slave select signal to zero. Send the data to the SPI data register. Data transfer will be initiated immediately. The program waits for completion of data transmission by waiting for the SPIF flag to become 1. This is performed by this instruction. Incoming slave data would have also fill up the SPDR register. To clear the SPIF flag, perform a data read of the SPDR register. The master then release the slave. The codes for sending data can be written as a function. Let's replace it with a function call. Let's call the function SPI transfer. It has an argument which is used to specify the data to be sent. The slave data is returned to a variable. The function will be declared as unsigned character because it will be returning the slave data to the function call and an argument s data to receive the data from the function call. Let's declare a variable call x data. These are the codes for sending the data. At the end, return the collected slave data to the function call. To send any other data, just replace the argument.